So what is good y'all, it is Anime K here and we are back with another video and today we're going to talk about Ada's brainwashing and why it just makes no sense. So first of all, right, in the latest chapter of Baruto 2 Blue Vortex, chapter 5, right, Armado and Sumire are talking and Armado is talking and he makes the observation that it's weird how his karma, he remembers putting the karma of his daughter and he remembers modifying Baruto's body but then when he saw Kawaki's body, Kawaki's body had the modifications and had his daughter's karma on it. Now I want to get into why him making this observation literally makes no sense to the information that we've been given from Sarada and Sumire about Ada's brainwashing. So I'm going to get into that. I'm going to explain to you why it's looking like Ada's brainwashing ability is just going to become one big plot hole in the story. But we're going to see. So first, let's get into it. So in chapter 79 of Baruto, right, Ada's brainwashing is activated because one, she loves Kawaki and she wants to give Kawaki whatever he desires, right? And Kawaki desires to be Naruto's son. So with that desire, right, Ada, you remember, she grabs Kawaki, right? And because she loves Kawaki and her desire to help Kawaki, right? And because of Kawaki's feelings, she's able to manifest those feelings, use her omnipotence ability. I always say that wrong, so that's why I'm just going to call it Ada's ability for the rest of this video. But she uses her ability to change everyone's memories. So everyone now thinks that Kawaki is Naruto's son and that Baruto is the outsider that came in. Basically, they switch places. And then you get the whole thing where everyone's now trying to hunt down Baruto because Ada told Shikomaru that, that Baruto killed Naruto. So now everyone hates Baruto and he had to leave the village with Sasuke. So the first room that contradicts Amado remembering anything or even making the observation about Kawaki's body is in chapter one of Baruto 2 Blue Vortex, right? I don't know why I keep saying the full name, I'll just keep saying chapter one, right? So Sumire and Sarida were talking, right? And this is during the timescape. They were talking about the timescape and they were saying that at first everyone started questioning Ada's ability. They started questioning the brainwashing and started noticing a couple of stuff was different. And even Shikomaru questioned Kawaki for hours on why one, his body was modified and two, why he did have Momoshiki in him. But after a while, the brainwashing set in and everyone starts questioning it. Now, the first problem with Armado remembering anything is if Shikomaru, right, someone who never modified Kwaki's body is not a scientist, yet he is very, very smart, obviously, but still, he wasn't a scientist, he never modified Kwaki's body at all. If he realized that one Kwaki didn't have Momoshiki in him, where I don't know how he would have realized, maybe he had tested on him, or maybe you can just tell, right, maybe they couldn't sense Momoshiki's chakra, right? but still, for whatever reason, he could tell that Kwaki didn't have Momoshiki in him and that his body had been modified. You're telling me the very man who modified his body, right, couldn't tell Amado, who... Armado is meant to be someone who has a lot of information on the Otosukis and knows a lot about them. So why would he not know that Kwaki's body has been modified, but his memories are telling him that Bruto's body was modified? So first of all... Look, if you're going to have Amado remember, you should have made him remember before the time skip or just not make him remember at all because it kind of makes no sense now if you go off that statement that everyone's brainwashing just decided to set in. Now, the second thing that contradicts this statement is, right, literally after this conversation, Sumire goes to talk to Sarada, right, and even they think it's weird that Amado was able to even make this observation because they say physical evidence doesn't work. So, I don't know what Kishimoto was going through with this, maybe I don't see anything. I was talking to some other people and even they didn't know what was going on, right? So what I'm thinking is, I don't know where he's going with this. Maybe Amado is more powerful than we think he is. But the fact that physical evidence doesn't work, Sarada literally said that physical evidence doesn't work. So how the hell was he able to look at Kwaki's body, see some physical evidence that there's a difference and then make that connection when you literally tell us after this that physical evidence doesn't work. So again, that's evidence too that it makes no sense for Armado to even be able to have made the observation. The brainwashing should have just cancelled out the observation. Now, you could make the argument, look, but Sasuke remembered. But the differences with Sasuke and Armado is one, Sasuke remembered even before the time skip, right, when the brainwashing had just happened. Two, it was his own daughter that I was asking him, right? Who he was very close to. And you could say, yeah, Amido was trying to get his daughter back. But three, Sarada awakened the MS right in front of Sasuke. And if you know how the MS is awakened, it's awakened from strong emotions. That gives Sasuke enough evidence that Sarada at least feels strongly about what she is saying. At least that, and he trusts his daughter, so that's why he was able to really overwrite it. Now, so if you look at Sasuke's situation compared to Amado's situation, they're a bit different because the brainwashing wasn't as powerful 
or hadn't set in as much back then and two Sarada literally awakened the MS right in front of him so he decided to trust his daughter so after hearing all this right you guys let me know what you think now for me I think the only explanation that could be said about this is I guess you could say that Amado is just different maybe he has some special powers technically he was the one that actually gave Ada and Damon their powers in the first place right so a lot of people have speculated in the past that Amado is not who he says he is and he's actually more powerful than he actually makes himself seem but I don't know, I just don't have an explanation on why he remembers, but other characters haven't. So it's all kind of confusing. Now look guys, if someone, please, I tried to connect the dots between him remembering and um, Himiwari and Sasuke, and, but I just couldn't make the connection. But you guys, if you guys made the connection, let me know what you think. I'm sure if you guys have some theories on why he remembers, let me know in the comments below. But I think Ada's ability is starting to go into that territory that I was afraid of where Kishimura is going to keep having to add stuff in for reasons why characters remember stuff and it's like I think before this I was like yeah you know what I'm fine with the brainwashing I think it's a really good concept everyone's against him Bruto's been kicked out of the village you know he wanted to be like Sasuke so there you go you like Sasuke now you know no one likes him in the village but I think right now where it is Look, maybe I could accept whatever explanation is given for Amado, but if it keeps happening where characters start to remember and then they think of another explanation of why this character remembers, it's just going to get a little bit annoying, but that's just me personally. But guys, look, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this annoys you guys or you're just not that bothered. I will say, though, this is the only little criticism I have of the chapters, I think, for the most part. I think everything else has been perfect and I've loved every single other chapter. I think this is the one criticism I have so far, which in five chapters with what like 40 pages is really good so but look guys like comment subscribe share the video this has been anime k thank you for watching listening or oh, sorry sorry guys i nearly did my intro wrong thank you for watching listening my outro sorry thank you for watching listening or however you choose to indulge in my content content and peace i am out and i'm sorry for that bad outro but i'm gonna leave it all in peace